What's up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we got 13 strangest things found in Sweden we finna check this out and guys I also seen the recommendation for me to check out the Eurovision and the music in Sweden hey I'm gonna get to that hopefully today I should have time today to go and check those out but we finna jump into this so y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button send out more recommendations Hey, let's see some strange things found in Sweden. 13 strangest things found in Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> Number 13, Ladonia. Sweden is a large country in Northern Europe with untouched forests, beautiful women, and a language with words that are hard to pronounce. <laughs> the bizarre towers that are constructed here are actually art installations oh. on the rocky beach. The artwork is made of 70 tons of driftwood and nails and what appears to it? look like it took a lot of time to put together. Ladonia went unnoticed for two years, but eventually, Swedish authorities noticed the structures and were planning on destroying it. Since the art installation was somewhat illegal to build, there needed to be some technicality to keep it from what being demolished. In 1996, the small area only surrounding the artwork was declared its own micronation after a long court battle. The micronation even has their own queen that you see here. <laughs> Number 12, the Stockholm Bull. Wow. This crazy statue is located in the capital city of Stockholm, Sweden. What? This probably isn't the weirdest statue in the country, but it's one that's been pop- I know I ain't never seen that. Y'all gotta let me know, cause I know I don't remember seeing a bull look like he's getting ready to go to space. Capital city of Stockholm, Sweden. This probably isn't the weirdest statue in the country, but it's one that's been popular in recent years with tourists. It seems to just be floating around in midair, but it's actually dangling from a building connected with wires. It's not known exactly where it is or why they decided to build it. So if any of our Swedish subscribers out there know about this, let us know in the comment section. Number I 11, ain't never seen Uter that in Inn. any video. There might be some limited accommodations at this strange hotel in Sweden, located Hello northwest of Stockholm on Lake Malaren. There is only one room available and it's completely surrounded by water. This was dreamt up by the Swedish artist Michael Jönberg what? as a place to observe marine life and enjoy the isolation. It certainly seems like a rough place to stay during a long cold winter in Scandinavia. Oh, that would the be small good. red house has room right for one bed and one toilet under the water. Guests are picked up on an inflatable boat and once they're there, unless you feel like swimming, there's no way to escape. Number Dang. 10, Troja Bori Labyrinth. This is located Troja on the little Bori. island of the eastern coast of Sweden called Gotland that makes up less than 1% of Sweden's total land area, but has quite a few mysterious places. It's also nicknamed the Island of Roses for its ideal climate capable of growing roses. Many of these stone labyrinths were built during the 1800s, but this one is considered to be possibly older. There isn't too much known about this landmark, in English at least, but there seems to be quite a few stone mazes found on the island of Gotland. Number 9. Kolarbeen Eco Lodges If you're looking for a crazy place to stay and felt like living inside a tree trunk for a few nights, this strange place might be the right place for you to visit. Each lodge here is completely built out of all natural materials. What? You won't have any amenities such as running water or electricity. Hey, y'all gotta let me know because some of this stuff sounds too good to be true. Completely some built out of all natural materials. True. You won't have any amenities such as running water or electricity. Fresh water is found from a nearby spring and it's totally what? possible to survive out the environment here. The staff will not make you hunt your own food and provide you with an all organic breakfast. This resort also stated that it preserves a 400 Where? Where is the breakfast? They ain't even showing the breakfast. With an all organic breakfast. This they resort also stated that fire. it preserves a 400 year old Swedish tradition of extracting iron from charcoal. The outdoor activities will certainly allow you to enjoy the beautiful Swedish nature. Number 8. Bets Nest Car Grave. Sweden might be known for some quality automobiles such as Saab and Volvo, but these ones here don't seem to be like what they used to be. Here you'll Car find over 1,000 classic rusting vehicles from the 1950s. Many vehicles Dang. have been abandoned by troops during World War II, found in the graveyard to break down the rusting junk and sell the valuable parts. This is located in the county of Bestness and are being engulfed Bestness. by the forests. Many cars are covered in moss, and strict rules apply to anyone considering taking a piece with them. It's estimated that all the scraps could be worth about $100,000 just in metal alone, Dang. but efforts have not been made to clean up the mess. Number 7. UFO Memorial Sweden can be a pretty mysterious UFO. place at times with all the green forests and isolated places. It seems like the right place to find a UFO. Near the city of Engelholm, a memorial was erected by a Swedish hockey player by the name of Gusta Karlsson in 1946. What? He claims that if it weren't for the alien contact, his successful pharmaceutical company wouldn't be such a big hit. Of course, not everyone believes his claims and are convinced he's making it. I, I don't even believe the claim. A UFO. 
That just looked like somebody just kind of shaped up a rock in a certain way. company wouldn't be such a big hit. Of course, not everyone believes his claims and are convinced he's making it up. Number six, Sun Cannon. <coughs> in the city of Odvidabari in southeastern Sweden, it's known for its great fishing and its soccer team. Also, its explosive timekeeping methods. This cannon doesn't fire any Sun real cannon? ammunition, but each day at 1 p.m., the sun hits a magnifying glass. As you can tell from this photo of the sun cannon, it creates a spark and sets off what? the black powder inside. These cannon clocks were actually a popular method of keeping track of time for the wealthy citizens during the 1800s, yeah, they got a whole especially website. on large estates. And That's actually got a website. I might have to go check that out and make of sure. Keeping track of time for the wealthy citizens during the 1800s, especially wow. on large estates. And don't worry, it doesn't always appear that it needs to be set off by sun power. On rainy or cloudy days, this cannon will be manually ignited so tourists can enjoy it no matter what the weather is like. Number 5. Lily, a Facebook server. So where does Mark Zuckerberg store all the photos you post on Facebook Lily. and all the information he gathers about the pages you like and so on? The servers <laughs> on America's west coast were getting a little bit too full. So in 2013, he decided to build another server, this time in an isolated area in northern Sweden near the Arctic Circle. Mark Zuckerberg claims that the cold air here in this region will keep the servers from overheating. This massive facility takes up the space Dang. of about six football fields. Hydroelectric dams generate the massive amount of electricity needed at this place. A facility like this costs 706. I'm gonna have to look this up. I ain't never heard of that. Massive amount of electricity needed at this never... place. A facility oh, like that. this costs 760 million dollars and probably has a massive electric bill. Sharing those cat photos with your friends on the internet is actually a little bit more complicated than you might have thought. <laughs> Number four, WikiLeaks server room. This room might seem like the perfect place for a James Bond villain to hide out at, but it's actually the server room of Wikileaks. That's right, Facebook Wikileaks. isn't the only online company with server facilities in Sweden. Wikileaks does too, and this one seems even more secretive. All the Wikileaks files are being held at this former Cold War nuclear bunker <laughs> that looks <laughs> like it's been Wikileaks? decorated by IKEA. Here in this photo, you see the submarine engine power generators that are used in case of a power outage or other emergencies, and are one of the best countries in Europe when it comes to this human right. Number 3. The Rock Rune Stone One of the most well-known rune stones in the world, the Rock Rune Stone was partially deciphered rock during the 19th stone. century when it was found, being used as some kind of building material by a church. It remains one of Sweden's most mysterious objects. Today, this is found standing in the sparsely populated province of Östergötland. It's believed to have been made in the 9th century AD. The stone was eventually moved from its original location and sits on display outside a churchyard. Some believe that the inscription was made intentionally difficult to read because it could be a part of a magical ritual. There are many speculations on the mysterious story about a father losing his son during the war. I thought this was like something from the Viking ritual. There are many speculations on the mysterious story about a father losing his son during the war that's inscribed on the stone. But many archaeologists are willing to agree that it's an important lost piece of Norse mythology. Number 2. The Swedish Solar System The largest model of the solar system in the world is located in Stockholm, Sweden. The sun is represented by the large globe the arena, Sweden which is one of the biggest system. spherical buildings in the world, and the other planets are located throughout Stockholm. Some are even found in the suburbs. All planets are properly scaled. It seems like a fun thing to explore when visiting Stockholm and trying to find each planet. For example, in this photo we see Earth, and it's located in the Swedish Museum of Natural History. In this photo we see Neptune, which is located in the coastal town of Söderjam. Mars is found inside a shopping center, what? and if you try to find each one, you'll end up getting a decent tour of Stockholm and the surrounding area. And number one, Lutfisk. Possibly the strangest thing you might come across while in what? Sweden aren't Lutefisk? all the crazy places or weird hotels, Lutefisk? it's their food. Lutefisk basically means live fish, and many describe it as the most disgusting food in the world, that is, if you're not Swedish. This traditional Nordic dish takes cod and soaks what? it in lye for several days, which is used to make soap, cleaning, and killing plants. The end result is something that has a jelly-like consistency. I ain't never heard that. Any suggestions future videos? Leave us your idea in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming video. I'm gonna have to read the comments on this one myself, because some of that stuff was, I don't know. It was hard to believe. I, that was, I guess that it is say the 13 strangest things. Some of that stuff was pretty strange. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at facts. These are strange. So it's different, it's different. But y'all let me know in the comments what you think. I don't know. This one of those, you know, factor cap type situations. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it was interesting. Definitely interesting. But guys, that's all I have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. 
send down recommendations. Hey, in the comment, let me know because some of this stuff too good to be true. But that's all I have. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.